Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got high pressure building off to our south and southeast, going to be pumping in warm to very hot conditions coming up over the next uh, few days. In fact, the seven day is going to be very busy with hot temperatures. And because of that moisture moving in from the south and southeast, we'll also have the chance for some scattered showers and storms. We are expecting right now the hottest day for the Rogue Valley. Well, it's going to be on Friday. Our temperatures for the coast. Generally in the 50s overnight, we may see some areas of low clouds later tonight into tomorrow morning. More sunshine developing for your Friday and high temperatures generally in the 60s, uh, 70s for Brookings going for 75. The wind out of the north northwest 10 to 20 as we move inland for the West Valleys. Lows will generally be in the 50s and 60s. I'm going for 63 in Medford, 57 for Cave Junction. Same deal for Wairika. The wind out of the north northwest 5 to 15 could be some higher gusts into this evening then calming down. For tomorrow, it is going to be very hot. I'm going for a new record high, 107 in Medford. The old record high is 105, set back in 2006. A heat advisory is in effect from 1 p.m. Friday through 5 a.m. Sunday. The temperatures are going to range during the day anywhere between about 95 and 110. I wouldn't be surprised even to see a few of those numbers. Readings, at least on Friday, going above 110. So uh, please just uh, take it easy. Take plenty of breaks. If you don't have to be outside, it would be a good idea to stay inside. Drink a lot of ice water as well to just keep hydrated. 100 for Roseburg. Late in the day into the evening, there's a possibility for a few scattered showers and storms. East of the Cascades, lows will be in the 40s and 50s. 52 for Klamath Falls and 56 for Lakeview. And your highs for Friday. Generally in the 90s to around 101 there for Altura, 77 if you're heading up towards Crater Lake. The record high for Klamath Falls is 95. I'm going for 99, so that's a big win as in dropping the old record high and a chance for some scattered showers and storms later in the day into the evening hours. For the Rogue Valley, you see those numbers. Basically everything is 100 or above for the next seven days. We have plenty of sunshine mixing it with some clouds. Now during the afternoon and evening hours, that's the best chance of seeing some scattered showers and storms. Even at night, it's going to be relatively muggy with lows in the 60s and 70s. Not as cool as it has been overall. Klamath Basin, you have highs in the 90s to around 100. Lows generally in the 50s and 60s. I put in a possibility for a scattered shower or storm mainly during the afternoon and evening hours for each day, although I cut it down to slight chances Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mount Shasta City, you have highs in the 90s to around 101 on Friday and lows generally in the 50s. Again, there is a chance for some scattered showers and storms. Best chance will be during the afternoon and evening hours for the coast. It will be cooler overall. Lows generally in the 50s. Highs anywhere from the upper 50s through the 60s. Some areas may even get into the 70s to around 80 as well. And a slight chance for some evening showers on Friday. Slight chance on Saturday and Sunday.